Ready? Steady. Say, welcome back to Vlogmas. Welcome back to Vlogmas. This is my co-host, Barkley. <laughs> my best boy. Okay, I'm gonna put you down. Don't scratch my sweater. Oh, thank you. Thank you for your service. If you're new, hi, I'm Danielle. I'm one half of our time of the month. My partner, Caitlin, surprisingly to some of you, does not live with me. We post a lot of videos about beauty and lifestyle and women's health and wellness and food and cooking and home stuff, relationships, whatever. We just like to blah, blah, blah on the internet. That's what we always say. And uh, during December every year, we try to put up a little bit more of day in the life kind of stuff. You guys seem to like it. I enjoy filming them. I enjoy editing them and looking back on them. It's just like a little digital memory box. So what are the things you can expect this year? Well, probably some get ready with me's, probably some hauls, probably a lot of home stuff, behind the scenes, maybe some cooking, maybe some baking. You guys seem to really like when Mike makes his meat on the grill, and so I'll try to get some footage of that and, of course, share any recipes that he has. We have a few very holiday things planned. Uh, this Saturday, actually, Caitlin and I are having a filming marathon. And then on Tuesday, Mike and I are going to be flying to Germany where our friends live, and we are going to go on a little European adventure in which we tour various Christmas markets throughout Germany and Prague. I'm beyond excited. This has been a bucket list thing for me. I'm just so elated. I'm so thrilled. I keep, I keep seeing TikToks of Christmas markets. I'm not searching for them, but you know, I'm like Christmas market, Christmas market in front of my phone. And so it's like, let me show you Christmas markets because it's an odd stalker like that. Going to be taking footage of that. If you're not following us on Instagram, I highly encourage it. So it's at our time of the month. I will be posting probably real time stuff from my adventures while I'm away. Uh, I'm sure Caitlin will be sharing some stuff on there as well. So if you don't want to miss out on that, again, our time of the month. This is our feed. Oh, pretty. <laughs> One thing, we'll just start right now. My sweater is rented. It is from Anthropology, but it's rented from Newly. And unfortunately, it already looks a little bit ratty. This is a new item for Anthro, so I'm sure it's only been, this piece particular in particular has probably only been rented a few times, and it's just, it's already showing wear. So I was going to buy it, because I've had my eye on it, and I thought, I'll rent it first and see if I like it, and I'm glad that I did not follow through, because I can just tell this is something that I will ruin. If it's not me, it'll be Barkley, and this is just a little too expensive of a sweater that I'm willing to risk. So between now and Sunday, I need to get a lot of my regular work done. I need to get a lot of editing done for this channel so that videos are posted while I'm away and I need to get this house in order and start packing. My office probably looks a little different to you. I'm doing some reorganizing in here to try to maximize my space. The artwork is constantly being moved and needs to be repainted but it feels much better in here. I feel like I'm able to do my nine to five job in here. I'm able to do our time of the month stuff in here. I get ready, do my makeup, usually get dressed, all that stuff in this one room. So um, it's nice to just have everything together. But before I get back to work, I wanna show you something silly that I did. I made stickers for our time of the month. These are just for us personally, for now. And this is not a design that I love. I just wanted to see how they worked. I had them printed. Uh, from Canva. So I made these little our time of the month stickers with a bunch of different little icons and emojis that sort of represent a lot of what Caitlin and I talk about and what we, you know, portray on our channel. So there's stuff about friendship and a uterus, YouTube logo, paw print, pills, books, makeup, all that stuff. So I made them. <laughs> And they're kind of lame and maybe Caitlin will hate them. I don't think she will though. And like I said, they're just for fun. I put one on my, I put one on my planner. I love that I'm finally using my stickers that I've collected over the years. This is definitely not all of them, but uh, just a few that I was willing to sacrifice for my planner, for my temporary planner. As always, if you have any suggestions for things you'd like to see, you can absolutely leave it in a comment and we'll try to get to it. I do wanna share one cute story with you before I go. We got indoor cameras to spy on Barkley. 
I did this because we went to stay with one of my friends. You know, it was a new space for Barkley to be in and I just wanted to sort of see how he did. And so they set up their camera and we watched him. Barkley was howling and I nearly had a heart attack because he is a hound dog and I've heard and seen that a lot of PBGBs howl and he never does it. <laughs> I try to get him to do it. I've tried for 10 years and it's just never, it's never mounted anything. And so I heard him howl when we were away and I thought, I wonder if he does that all the time. So we set them up and last night Mike and I went out to dinner and he did it. He howled and I'll insert that footage because it's so freaking cute I died. It almost made me cry because to me it just sounds like he's so sad and pitiful. And I know those cries are not for me. Those, those cries are 1000% for Mike. I'm gonna do my job now. I'll see you in a bit. I had some packages arrive. And I thought we'd crack into them together. One of these is a gift for someone, but I'm fairly certain they don't watch our channel. So I feel like I can show it. I mentioned that we're going to Germany and we're visiting friends there. I wanted to get a personalized memento that wasn't something that you would only use once a year at like a Christmas ornament. So I went on to Shutterfly and I uploaded a bunch of photos that we've all taken over the years and I made ceramic coasters with like little collages on them. I made each coaster a collage so that I could get more than one photo on there. I got them these so that when they're drinking their coffees or their beers, they can think of us every single time. <laughs> I'm watching. Then I have an order from Sephora. It feels like there's absolutely nothing in here. This is an order that I have been trying to place, I don't know, for four days probably. And every time I did it, they were like, oh, it's out of stock, oh, it's out of stock. They would let me order it and then I would get an email that was like, ah, sorry, we can't fulfill this order. So hopefully this is it. If you watched mine and Caitlin's most recent video, it was a big Sephora haul from the sale. And in that video, she showed the minimalist perfecting complexion stick. And I had said in that video, I had added it to my cart and then removed it because I didn't think I needed it. And then I decided I definitely needed it. So I bought it. I think it's gonna be great for the redness around my nose. Just look at this sleek packaging. And voila. I got the shade Linen. It almost looks too yellow. I'll try it. I will try it and see what comes of it. To go with it, I've heard nothing but great things about the accompanying brush, so I went ahead and got her too. Ooh, that feels very nice. So got those from Merit. Never tried something from Merit that I didn't like. Got a couple samples. The Herbivore Aquarius Pore Purifying Clarity Cream. It's a moisturizer. I got a fragrance, Vanilla Woods by The Seven Virtues. I don't love, I don't love vanilla and it says it's also got rose. I don't think I'm gonna like that. Spray on a piece of paper. No, no thank you. It smells like fake vanilla extract. <sighs> Oh, it's awful. It's so sweet. Mm, no offense if you like it. I just, it's just not for me. They were running a deal. I got to add a free mini to my order. So I picked the Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid, which is one of my favorite toners. And you know why I picked it? Because look at how tiny it is. Look how cute it is. I could take it with me on my trip. It's like for you, Barkley. It's just made for you. Ooh, and it has a nice lid that plugs the hole. It's like they made it for traveling. If you don't think I'll be saving this and refilling it, you're crazy. You're crazy, girl. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. And then the thing I am most excited for, I have one of these shadows in a blue shade. Why I thought that I should get it in a blue shade, I don't know, because I've worn it exactly two times. But my friend Elle has been wearing it lately around me and 
she knows that I'm an impressionable young woman and therefore I would want it. So I bought it and it is the Urban Decay Moon Dust Sparkly Eyeshadow in the cult classic shade Space Cowboy. You all. Oh my God, look at it. This is what I'm gonna put on my eyes all the time. Oh wow, I don't even wanna touch it. It almost hurts my eyes to look at it. Look at it. Oh, I can't wait to put this on my eyes. Then the last package is something I never thought I would buy again. I had a pair of these when I was a freshman in college. I spent money that I did not have on a pair of them because it was 2006 and that's what I was supposed to do. When I tell you that this thing held up for 15 years. I'm not kidding. I just got rid of them. Wait, 16 years, 16 years. I had this and then I just got rid of it. Finally, I bought myself a pair of Uggs. Listen, I was going to get the fugs that people say are a good dupe, but the shipping kept getting all discombobulated and they were still going to be a certain amount of dollars. And I thought, well, let me just try the OGs. So I got the low ones. What are they called? Let me read this. It doesn't say, I forget what they're called, but I will, oh, I will put it in a comment. Y'all? So I know the really, really short ones are the super popular ones right now, but um, you can't get them anywhere <laughs> because everyone has bought them. So I ended up getting these in a nine. I think my last pair of Uggs were in an eight and a half. Pardon me, so I hope this works. But here's the thing, here's my reasoning. I don't have like good warm closed toe brown shoes. What do we think? What do we think? So comfortable, Barkley. If I could get you dog Uggs, I would. Except I wouldn't, because you wouldn't like them. Hi, you wanna come get in here? You wanna come get in here? Come here. Say hello. <laughs> oh my God, you're just so cute. Sorry I screamed in your ear. Do you like my boots? I'm really excited. I didn't think I would be this excited for Uggs, but here I am. Just think if these last me as long, I will be well into my, f oh my God, I'll be, um, I will, <gasps> I will be 50 years old. If I have these, as long as I had my last pair of Uggs, I will have them until I am 50. Five zero, 50. Which is a great number. I'm just, I'm very far away from that right now and so it's hard for me to wrap my mind around, you know? Wow. This might be my favorite thing and it was absolutely free. I mean, not free because I had to buy things to get it, but you get what I'm saying. So I got this clothing rack on Amazon. I'd had something similar in my cart for a really long time and then Caitlin actually got a similar version and she was like, you know, it's not the best made, but it serves its purpose. It's pretty affordable. So I got this for under $50 on Amazon. It is bamboo. I did have to put it together myself and it's not like the most sturdy thing in the world, but this is probably as much as I would ever allow to be on it at once. I might put, you know, jeans or something up there, but if you don't overload it, it's super convenient, especially when you're packing for a trip and you just kind of want to see how potential outfits might look with shoes or whatever. I also use it to keep most of my rental clothes in here. This is all stuff that I want to try to get in one packing cube, but it's, as you can see, it's a lot of sweaters and it's overflowing. So I'm going to have to get really creative and I'm really trying to pack smart so that I can bring a lot of treasures home. Oh, and this is done too. This is all my underwear, socks, bras, lingerie. So today is a filming day for me and Caitlin. We are having what I'm referring to as a marathon. And I remembered that I bought this Bon Mamon advent calendar and have not once opened a single door yet. And we're on day three of December. So we're gonna do one, two, and three. We have rhubarb strawberry spread. Oh, wait, let me see it. Dusty, tiniest oh little container. Oh my God, that's just absolutely precious. 
It won't even focus. There we go. Rhubarb strawberry. Okay, number two. They're hard to get out. Orange yuzu grapefruit. Ooh, fancy. Okay, do you want to do three? No, you can do three. Where is it? Right here. They really, great packet. Oh, I must have flung that across the room. <laughs> Apricot peach spread. Wow, oh my like God, these are just so cute. Look at them. Oh my God, so adorbs. One of the videos that we're doing is a holiday taste test. And I have three bags of things. She's getting the holiday beers. Mike is gonna be doing it with us. And probably Barkley. <laughs> Aren't you? Aren't you? You're just so sweet. Kaylin, it's Vlogmas. I've started a couple little videos on my phone, but I haven't edited them together. What's up, fucks? Danielle seemed to really like that when I say that, so I can say yeah. that. Those are very wide boots. One of the funniest things I've ever seen. Wait, let me, okay, let me finish this and then. What is it about this pair that, cause like, so your shoulders look wider cause your hips look narrow, but why do your hips look so narrow? Yeah, they look wide. What? <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, that looks very much like you at 19. It is Tuesday morning. We are leaving for the airport today. And I realized that this footage that I filmed on Sunday did not get followed up with, with anything, really. So, uh, you know, not so good at the closing out of the vlog, but I am cracking through several videos so that it's as if I didn't even leave. We've got Sweet Barkley over here. Barkley! Are you going to go stay with Irv and Beth? He's very upset with us. He saw the suitcases, so he knows. Here's my very tired, frazzled look. I am going to shower. <laughs> I actually got my nails done last night, which I do very infrequently, a couple times a year, because I usually like to do them myself. But I just really wanted to get my cuticles taken care of. And then also, I did get dip so that they stay nice while we're away. Um, but they're nice and short, which I like. Oh, and the color is called Cherry Cosmo. I think it's by Perfect Match. It was shade number one at my salon. I just wanted to wrap this up with a more formal goodbye and not leave you hanging. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful December. It is already the 6th. Uh, Caitlin and I have been really, really cranking out videos, which is wonderful. I have videos scheduled to go up the 7th, which is tomorrow the 10th, which is Saturday, and then one again for the following Wednesday. I will be filming while I'm away, but obviously that footage won't be available until I'm back and I can edit it all together. So like I said, you can follow us on Instagram if you wanna see some uh, real-time stuff. If you have suggestions for things for us to see while we're in Nuremberg and Prague and Mines, leave it in a comment. I would love, I would love to know, maybe I can, yeah, you know, share some of that with our friends who live there. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for coming and hanging out during Vlogmas. I know today's video wasn't terribly exciting, but if you've been here, you know not to really expect just 24 seven excitement, you know? I mean, Barkley's here, that's exciting. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you'd like to see more of our videos. And I will see you soon. We will see you soon. Bye.